Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna show you how you can turn on vehicle motion cues in iOS 18. So let's get into it. When you first update your iPhone to iOS 18, um, you should automatically have a vehicle motion cues toggle added to Control Center. But let's say you didn't. Let's um, pull down Control Center, let's tap the plus, then let's click Add Control. We're now gonna look up vehicle motion cues. So now we're gonna have this new toggle down here. So we tap on it, we get three different options on, off, and automatically in the vehicle. Off will disable the feature for the moment. If we turn on, it will enable it and you'll have these dots that will be on the sides of your, your display. And if we turn on automatically in a vehicle, whenever your iPhone senses that you may be in a moving car or bus or whatever, it will automatically turn on the dots for vehicle motion cues. I prefer to manually turn mine on. If you have an iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, iPhone 16 model, you can actually take this a step further with the action button. So we're gonna head over to settings. In settings, we're gonna tap on action button, and then you're gonna have a different, you're gonna have different options. This may look different depending on what you have your action button set to, but if we wanna turn vehicle motion cues to the action button, we're gonna have to scroll until we see accessibility. So I already have mine set, but we're gonna see this list of options and you're gonna to wanna to enable vehicle motion cues right here. So as you can see, it'll indicate that this has been set to vehicle motion cues. Now, anytime you just press your action button, you will have these dots on the side of your phone. So what's cool about this feature is that these dots, as simple as they may seem, actually make a big difference. So Apple has found that when people don't see the motion that they're feeling, that throws them off, leading to motion sickness. So what this feature does is, let's say you're a passenger in a vehicle, you're looking down on your phone, so, and you have these dots here. So when the car accelerates, these dots actually move down. When the car brakes, the dots will move up. When the car is at a constant speed, the dots will remain in the same place. If we take a left, the dots move to the right. If we take a right, the dots move to the left. So it counters the, it goes in the opposite direction of where you're moving. And it does this so that you don't feel that motion sickness. Your body is seeing the motion that it's feeling and it kind of just counters it. And so from all the people I've asked who've tested this feature out, family, friends, myself, the feature actually has helped and has reduced us from actually feeling that motion sickness when being a passenger in a vehicle. And it's nice that with just an update, Apple was able to add this nice feature in that anybody can use on day one once they update their iPhone. Anyways, guys, I hope you found that video useful. Subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you on the next one.